a meeting at the Yacht Club in Gordons Bay, which is a wonderful venue, uh, right there on False Bay, which is part of the Indian Ocean. And um, so we've unfortunately now dropped to about 12 members. Anybody who venture a guess where Lobito is? If I tell you Luanda, you would probably know that that's Angola. Angola has recently uh, developed a second club known as Luanda Sol, Team South Luanda. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity to see some really beautiful part of, a really beautiful part of Africa. We've, uh, we, we haven't really been growing the way we'd like. We've had about 1,400 members in all our 60 clubs. Now you can work out more or less what the average is, but I don't do that kind of thing. And, and we have some of the clubs are big. You know, our first club, the mother club, in Cape, uh, is Cape Town itself, which um, was chartered in 1923. And then we had Johannesburg and any number of other clubs. And our club, as I say, was 1998. Most recently, uh, recently uh, Luanda Sol. We have, um, uh, if you want to visit as a district governor, carry, carry out your visits, your district visits to the various clubs, you have to fly. So we fly up to Luanda, do our district visits there, and then from there to Bentuk, which is the capital of, of Namibia, and then from there. Uh, I have seven clubs in Namibia, which I visit. Uh, I realize here was a huge challenge, and in fact, an extension of community service. And I think that is what makes this kind of job really worthwhile. You, would, you never retire when you're a Rotarian. I think you're, the older ones among us would know that. Jack is a very, very good example. You never retire when you're a Rotarian because there's too much work out there for the community and too much service. I've enjoyed every moment of Rotary. I've really enjoyed the, the, the incredible hospitality. Oh,